Minnesota Substance Abuse Treatment Center exclusively for women will be closing its doors come summer. The closure of the Carleton Bay Center is due to reductions in Governor Mark Dayton's budget plan. Katie Anderson tonight tells us the impact to the community. Nearly 30 jobs will be lost after state officials shut the doors to Liberalis, a substance abuse treatment center run by women for women in Carleton. It's a blow to the city. It's a blow to the people who are serviced by that program. The inpatient center has served women at the Carleton location for more than a decade. And while they can't block the shutdown altogether, area lawmakers Senator Tony Lorry and Representative Mike Sundin are able to step in and buy the center more time. The original closing date was uh, scheduled for April 15th and Tony had uh, conversations with uh, the assistant commissioner and delayed the closing of that until July 1st. Under Governor Mark Dayton's budget, six sites across the state will be closed or downsized. 174 beds will be reduced to 70 beds. We believe strongly that more private providers will take clients that we're currently seeing in our state system and thereby we can downsize some of the programs in our state system. Liberalis' building is owned by Interfaith Care Center, which sits right across the street from the facility. And administrators here say they are sad to see the facility go. Liberalis have been very good neighbors to us. Um, I hate to see employees that we've gotten to know lose their, lose their jobs, lose their income, face the uncertainty of not knowing what does this mean to me. In Carleton, Katie Anderson for KBJR 6 and Range 11.